This is Benjamin Davis with Cointelegraph TV. So actually, could you introduce yourself for our fans, please? I'm Dmitry, and I'm a founder of DBrain. It's uh, like first human in the loop uh, platform that works on blockchain for creating any artificial intelligence based solution. And so when and how did you get started in this field and how have you kind of gone from where you began to where you are now? Yeah, actually, it's a long story. For the past 10 years, I've worked in the um, artificial intelligence field and I sold my previous company a year ago and gathered a small team of computer vision experts and then they start to play these recent papers and try to apply to real life business problems. So we built a number of use cases, like the craziest of them. Uh, we had like the biggest factory uh, that produced meat and we uh, have cameras track every action of any human in the field. So for example, we can track whether you washed your hands properly before going to clean room. <laughs> yeah, we also do like uh, uh, quality control for pizza, like cancer detection, uh, automatic retouch of any photo. So, and what we saw that in every AI solution, 80% of problem is data. So now we are focused on building this like platform for people, for millions of people across the globe, so they can work from India, Nigeria, Indonesia, uh, generating data, cleaning data, cross-validating data for our platform. So in every use case, it's like 80 or 90% of value creation. So I, I know that uh, a lot of times, especially being here, I've noticed that people talk about how the public, there's a lot of misconceptions about AI. The way that people see AI and what they know about it. And I know some people like to talk about machine learning. And uh, could you sort of clarify, you know, basically uh, the yeah. power of it and what it is? Yeah, it's really a good question, yeah. Um, you know, like, not everybody understands that uh, current state of AI it's not some like super intelligence. It's just like simple pattern recognizer. Very stupid. You have some input and have output. So you just train for any use case those simple pattern recognizers and you just need a lot of data. So people think that AI is about computation power or maybe algorithms, but there are no such a problem on the market. It's like commodity already. Like uh, steel to build high quality AI, you just need a lot of data that generated by humans who earn like small money for that. Yeah, so AI is not about high paid engineers, but it's more like uh, about millions of people working on data generation, yeah. Maybe to give people a better idea of how AI is impacting their lives, what are some things in the world right now that actually incorporate AI and so that people can see like, oh, this is actually kind of, be I'm interacting with AI already. Mm. Yeah, actually, we focused on B2B use cases because whenever you have like 1% increase in efficiency in B2B, you earn like millions of dollars. But to get some understanding, I, I can, I can uh, come with some B2C examples. For example, in a new iPhone X, you have this face recognition. So this is like really cool example of AI. So there's no need for any like touch, etc. I just look at the camera and camera understand this is like me. And even it understands whether I uh, like looking at, the, at, at, at my phone or not. And I can give like maybe some more examples. Uh, for example, uh, in, a, in a recent cameras from uh, Google or Apple, you have AI that enhance your like selfies and <laughs> yeah and photos, yeah. Uh, denoise, so you can make photos uh, in a like dark environment and have AI like leverage recent technologies and make it lighter without any noise and self-driving cars like some of us already tried it and it's gonna be huge for the like next five years and in any like play like huge use case in surveillance the, the like the biggest company in the u.s have like 70,000 people just watching cameras and they earn for example like 10 bucks per hour it's like 1.5 uh, billion dollars just wasted 
and AI gonna watch cameras and uh, perform really like better than any human can. Uh, what is cool also, we have a lot of use cases in healthcare. So for example, any pathologist that uh, should analyze biopsy mm -hmm. images, they can leverage AI to help them to do uh, this job like really faster. So AI gonna show you like point of interest there you, sh you need to focus on. So it's gonna like increase your capacity as a pathologist. You know, we're at Block Show, we're yeah. talking, everybody's talking about blockchain and uh, obviously like blockchain and AI coming together is a big thing. So how has the, the introduction of blockchain technology, how has it impacted the way that AI is being developed and how has it maybe sped it up or, yeah. or changed how, how the whole process is done? Yeah, yeah it's, it's a good one. Uh, you know, uh, what we are focused on, we are not focused on like some buzzwords like merging blockchain with AI. Yeah. Uh, we just focus on how to leverage blockchain to make this like marketplace of people which work on our platform segmenting data uh, more efficient. So what we allow, we allow like, for example, like two billions of people are unbanked globally. Not everybody understand that. Like two billions people, they are not allowed to earn like fiat currency digitally. But leveraging blockchain, we can reach those people and bring them to the platform so they can work and earn like real money, hmm. like doing real job. And we also leverage blockchain to eliminate any trust issues. So whenever you have some data on the platform, you're going to be sure that this data is not stolen or sold to anybody else. Because, you know, in AI, it's real, like, issue. Whenever you stole data, basically, you stole AI solution. Because it's, like, 90% of solution. Yeah. Yeah, th that's how we leverage blockchain here. I guess, I guess I, some of the projects you're working on are really fun and really interesting. Yeah. And it would be really cool to see them. But in, in sort of, what can people look forward to? So in, say, like 2018, is there, are people are going to be, uh, mm -hmm. or, or in a couple of years, what, what kinds of AI technology do you think are, are sort of going to come into the market and, and become very much a, a part of everyday life? Yeah, no, it's, it's really hard to predict future yeah. now, because current state of AI is really like primitive. So as I said, it's just simple pattern recognizer, but we're gonna see that more and more use cases people gonna delegate to AI. And first frontier gonna be like cognitive routine tasks. It's like uh, any like driver, any anybody who employed in some like pattern recognition, even like uh, pathologists or doctors yeah. who need like see something and make decision based on that, it's gonna be implemented through AI. So the first frontier is going to be uh, like cognitive uh, routine tasks that people do right now. And AI already performs better than humans in most of them. Very cool. Uh, it yeah. was a pleasure yeah. talking to you. Nice so, meeting you. Thanks. Yeah. Great.